Hello everybody, just quickly before we start the video, um, I will be addressing um, people's questions in a video after I finished reacting to season 2. Um, these will be questions like about like what I'm going to be doing after I've reacted to all of this. So, you know, if you want a question to be answered, then you can put your questions like down in the comments below um, and I will I will answer as many of them as I can. So, um, so yeah, hope you enjoy the video. Hello everybody! Say monkey suit. Episode 24. The penultimate episode of season two. I've just saw the fucking title for this for this episode. It's called Katsuki Bakugo Origin. Fuck. I mean Only two characters have had that that episode in the past, and that's Todoroki and, and Deku. Um and we're, we're fucking finally getting up getting the one for fucking Bakugo. This is going to be great. I hope I'm not hyping myself like too much because I don't want to, you know. I, oh my god, I'm just, I just want this episode to be the best. <laughs> okay, um, last episode. Um, we had uh, a lot of different groups going up against the teachers. We had um, Ochako and Ayama against Thirteen. We had uh, Ashido and Kaminari against Principal Nezu. We had Koda and Jiro versus Present Mike. Uh, Snipe against Invisible Girl and their, their tentacle arms. And then uh, Mineta and Seto, right? Sero, sorry. Against um, Midnight. And we got a little bit on there uh, on Minette as well, and why he's uh, why he wants to why he wants to be a hero. But this is obviously the fucking fight that I that I was waiting for. I'm as ready as I'm ever going to be. Let's go. Let's get back to origin. Come on, Bakugo. Team Midoriya and Bakugo. Practical exam. Ready? Go. In a city. Cityscape. I have to talk to him. We're a team. We should be discussing this. It's the villain is All Might, so we don't need to think about it because combat is out of the question. It'd be impossible to beat him in a fight. It's a really bad idea, Kacho. Stop following me. <clears throat> we should avoid fighting him no matter what it takes. I'm gonna toy with him until time is almost up and then knock him unconscious for real. <laughs> it's impossible for you to win in a fight against him! I don't want to hear another word. Uh, I think it's like, it's so... Because Batgo is so confident. Here we go. I told you we don't need your dumb power to pass! I can win it all by myself! Will you stop yelling? This is why we never have real conversations! Holy fuck. That. You'd better come at me with everything you've got. I won't pull my punches. Let's run. Don't tell me what to do. Oh, fuck a go. How about a stun grenade? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> everything I've got all might. Like that wasn't my plan. I never. Oh, fuck damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Your rapid fire blast. Don't think I've forgotten about you already, young Midoriya. No. Uh -uh. Do you think that's going to work? Oh, move it! Go, John! What? Oh, the god, no, but go. wants to defeat All Might. The other thinks only of running. The latter probably admires the man too much. Yeah, it's a shackle in it. It's a sh it, it's a shackle. But based on his grades and the sports festival, he has amazing combat sense. Cut on out of the way. I will win this. That's what it means to be a hero, Deku. Boy, get your hands off of me. Incoming heroes. I have a special gift. 
Oh shit! Oh! Fuck! Katana, are you okay? That's why he's the greatest. No matter how much trouble he's in, he's always the winner. You may be a jerk, but I get it. You always have one goal that you fight for in everything you do. Because of young Midoriya's sudden improvement, right? Come on, battle, good boy. But you have to remember each of your rankings when the year first began. It's much easier to level up when you're a novice. You're wasting your full potential. Yeah, it's hard to stay at the top, right? Do you understand me? You still have so much room to grow stronger, boy. And I don't just mean your quirks. Shut up, All Might. Bad that I have to get help from a weakling like him. And I'd rather lose this. Do you hear me? What? Nah, 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 nah. That's not right. He'd rather lose. Nah, 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 nah. Deck move! Go on! Don't you dare say that you'd rather lose! Let's win this, Kachan! Midoriya to swoop in like that. Good job, Deku. Good Let job. Go. That's not bad go at all, wanting to lose. That's not that. We can at least try using my power. You can't say you're okay with losing. You're you because you never give in. You're always fighting. Kachan, you fought against two big fourth graders and won! That was supposed to be the, the kid that became a normal, right? Wins. In the end, they come out on top, no matter what. I won't say it again, so listen, you useless nerd. All my speed is insane. No matter where you try to run and hide, there's no way you'll avoid fighting him. Yeah, but we don't stand a chance in combat. I mean, you saw him back there. Shut the hell up before I kill you! <gasps> He won't be stopped by anything less than a full power attack. I learned that earlier with my mini blasts. So, Renato, are they gonna work together? He's hiding. Does oh my god. To make a break for the escape gate? Oh my god. You're going the wrong way! This is pissing me off. Oh, fuck you! <laughs> I'm working with someone like you. Someone who shouldn't even be here. Oh man, this is the. <laughs> Use it! Damage, put some Use it! Pull the pin! <laughs> oh my god! I'm actually tearing up! Complicated feelings about each other piled up that they don't even know how to interact anymore. Now then, students, your teacher's going to do his best to school you. Shit. There's no <laughs> way that attack KO'd him. When he catches up to us, it'll be my turn to blast him to hell with a gauntlet. Interesting. And then what will you do? Oh, sh Don't tell me you're so No! Oh! Fuck a knee in the chin. Go. Oh. You cooperated, however reluctantly, and faced me together. Sadly, that's not enough. With strength and stamina, I can't hope to match. He's not just powerful; he is power. Come on, Batgirl. I realize that even more now that I faced him myself. This man is the most unstoppable force in the world. He's the greatest hero on earth. Damn it. <laughs> now that I've destroyed young Bakugo's gauntlets, you've lost your heavy attack. You're helpless. This is over. Shut up! Come on, boy! <laughs> Oh, 
I love this guy so much. Get ready to fly. I don't like the idea of running, but with the crap vest we're in right now, this is the only way to pass the practice. <laughs> oh my god! He jumped up towards the end! Oh my god! Oh my god! He fucking propelled himself backwards into him! So he's just gonna risk anyway to win. Oh. oh my god. Oh my god, man. Oh my god. I, I, don't, I don't believe what I'm saying, man. I don't believe what I'm saying. Oh, I love this. I love this, man. Oh. Good night, young Bakugo. I'm sorry. I may be the villain, but I'm still your teacher. It pains me to see you sacrifice your own body in a fight. He's not giving up. He's fucking... Up. He's tenacious, man. You damn nerd. I'll keep fighting. I'll break myself. Even if there's nothing left of me, I will win the way I want to. I'll destroy myself before I accept defeat at your hands! <sighs> you got that! Kachan! Don't tell me! Oh man, I love this guy so much, man. Scared or nervous about a fight. Oh, fuck. Just try and deal with it by smiling. Please get out of the way! <laughs> oh, he's, oh, he's gonna fucking save his friend, man. Oh my god. He's unconscious. I'm sorry, Kachan. But this is just who I am. Jeez. He easily could have shot through the kid himself and passed the exam for them both. <laughs> I shouldn't be surprised. This is how you've been from the beginning. You can't help but save those who need rescuing, even if they aren't asking you for any help. And at times like that, there isn't an obstacle hard enough to stop you. <laughs> That's right, young Mitoya. Uh... That's the kind of hero you've always been. <sighs> Team Midoriya and Bakugo have passed the exam. All matches for the practical portion of Class 1A's final have now been completed. You're so much stronger than when we first met that sometimes I hardly recognize you, young Midoriya. And the same goes for you. Young Bakugo, do you realize that you were able to smile in the face of defeat? I can't wait to see how much stronger you both get. Oh, man. So it's really you, huh? I've seen you in pictures, but I gotta say, you're way grosser in person. Alright, well, actually, yeah, I know. You're friends with my hero, Stain, right? Cool! Let me join the league! I wanna be in your group! Our Christ. enemies are gearing up for the third round. Every time we drive them back, they return stronger. God knows what those guys' quirks are. Fuck. Um, that was my favorite episode, guys. That was my favorite episode. And yeah, I'm fucking, I'm biased, but I mean, everyone's biased. I own favorite episode, but um, you know, Every, everyone has their like their choice, their hero for for this show, you know. And um, I've been saying for a while, back ago, is these mine. Um, this this episode, this episode's the one, man. This one, this one is. 
this one topped episode 10 for me. Like, oh, there's so much, there's so much, man. There's so much to Batgirl's character. You know what I mean? And it annoys me when people are just like, oh, he's just a cunt. And that's all they see. They don't see the fucking, they don't see the, the layers that he has at all. You know what I mean? They just look at the fucking the face. They just look at the cover and they don't even... They don't even attempt. They don't even attempt to fucking look look beyond that. Because they're so... They, they don't... There's such... There's such an interesting dynamic in this one because, you know, obviously it's because, you know, yeah, we've got Deku and he's teaming up with, with Bakugo, right? Um, but I I think, like, the the thing that's that's most interesting is the idea that What I almost got from it was, you know, like, Deku, actually, it's almost like, you know, it, he's got like, he's, he's got like, he's two, sort of, these two people that he looks up to, you know what I mean? And... You know, I think Deku realizes like now more than ever just how, how, how much of a hero a Bakugo actually is. You know what I mean? Like how much he actually does look up to Bakugo. You know, because it took it took for him to be up against All Might, the person who he looks up to the most. All right. But honestly, I think he looks up to Bakugo just as much, to be honest. I can see that. I can I can definitely see that. You know, when... I think it was when All Might... Used a bit of the fence to, like, um... To trap uh, Deku under, under it. And then he, he hit um, Bakugo in the stomach. And Bakugo, like, vomited up, right? Deku looked at, like, over at Bakugo, and I, he, does, he doesn't like seeing him hurt, you know? He really doesn't. Um... There, was a, there was a moment where All Might went to, went to Bakugo and, um, and say, you know, you're angry because... You're angry because it seems like Deku's like getting stronger, right? And All Might says, you know, it's easy to see improvement from somebody who literally hadn't, who was literally at the bottom, and then ris like started actually making progress. It's easy to see that progress. Whereas if you're already at the top, which he was, he was top of the fucking, he was top of the class. He was first. On top of the like, you know what I mean. The initial exams, obviously, the recommendation the recommendations didn't have to do that. So Todoroki would probably be up there as well. But with Bakugo being at the at the top, it furthers that it it's that it's that idea that you know it's the hard part isn't getting to the top; it's staying there because you know the further you go, the further like the like you know the further you just have to push yourself. To get better, you know. Because eventually, when you get to the top, you know what I mean. It, you can't just settle because other people will always come up. You know, you have to keep pushing yourself, no matter how hard. You know what I mean? How hard you've worked. Like, there's never a time to rest. Especially in this world, it makes it makes so much sense. And I think this episode is a great pairing with episode 8 in season 1 because that is exactly the mentality that he had in, ep in, in those episodes leading up to that was the idea that he's at the top and I think Batgirl was settling at that point 
I think when he was first in, um, when he was number one when they first went to UA, I think that he settled. Um, oh, he took his foot off the gas, you know. Um, and then what it took was, you know, Momo to say stuff, and it took Toda Roki to, you know, need to absolutely destroy his opponents in that, that one little battle test in episode 8 for him to actually realise, you know, that. You know, I can't stand still. I've got to keep moving. I've got to. I've got to keep progressing myself as well. Um, and it makes it makes it makes me happy. You know what I mean? That this is some. This is this is a character I can get behind so much. You know, yes, I honestly I love Deku. I love Todoroki. I love Ida. I love all of these characters. But Bakugo, really, he is really the character that I root for the most. Do you want to know why I never... I never... forward it like I never projected my like the point that um that Bakugo is a dick why I why I never like in the first even in the first few episodes when there was like no redeeming quality about him or it seemed that way okay that I never just went this Bakugo guy's a dick why I never did that because here's the thing all right everybody every single person Every individual has their own problems, okay? And while Deku, you know what I mean, because he was quirkless, nobody ever looked to him to do anything special. So there was never that pressure on him, alright? Back ago, from like four years old, possibly even younger than that, was told he was the best. What you've got to bear in mind is that when you're growing up, if you have that kind of pressure on you to be number one, if you fall anywhere below that, then, you know what I mean, you are considered a disappointment. This is a big thing in Asian culture where, you know, um, you know, this is why generally the the idea behind, you know, uh, like the the stereotype with Asians is that they're good at like mathematics and, and stuff like that. That comes now. That stereotype is is very real, okay. Like now, this comes from you know like very far in the past. Just generally because you know if you don't do well, you have to basically live up to your family's expectations. Otherwise, you got disowned. Now that was something that happened, um, like. Uh, like like very far back in history, you know, and it still happens today. You know, like um, Asian families can disown their kids if they don't live up to, you know what I mean. Their what their parents put on them as potential. Now I don't know if Bakugo's family did that, but the pressure is still there. It's the idea that you know what I mean. He was he was told he was great, grown up. And that he had to be number one, because if he wasn't, then he was a disappointment to himself, and he was, most importantly, he was a disappointment to others, which, in his mind, is, that's just not, that can't happen. You know? That's why I root for him the most, because he has the pressure, he has the pressure there. He is the character that's had the most development in this show. He really has. People argue that Todoroki has had the most character development. Not really, because there was the before and then there was after. And that generally happened around the tournament, right? Whereas this has been going on 
since season one. And here we are at the end of season two when he's he's like I have I have I have so much respect for this character, so much admiration for him. And honestly I can see where Deku gets it from. You know? I can see that. I saw that back in season one. And it makes me happy that I realize this because I don't know, I'm just so happy to have this admiration for him. I'm so happy to like that this is my favorite character, you know? Um The one thing I did pick up on that, that did almost like I almost like my heart dropped for a second when Batgo said that he'd rather lose. And I'm glad that Deku picked up on it as well. Because he's never he's never done that. He's never wanted to lose. He's always wanted to fucking be the best and win no matter. No matter what the situation is. Even if he's even if he is teaming with Deku. I mean, I guess you could. I I guess you could you can have this idea, of like, you know. Maybe it was the quote that he said. I can't remember the exact quote. Or maybe it was like, if if I have to win because Deku, is the reason for winning, then I don't want to win. Maybe, but at the end of the day, you know what I mean. It's it's the. What would you rather have? You know what I mean. Would you rather. Would you rather have that victory that would propel you towards the top, or you know, or is it just all about competition? I just, I just don't think it's ever just been about being against Deku at all. It's about being against everyone. It's it's Baku versus everyone, not just Deku. But he has this like affinity with being better than Deku, you know. And I wonder if it's subconsciously in his mind that he knows that Deku is such. He, he he breathes such a um an aura of like heroism like like ideal heroism like Stain once um on such a big level that I wonder if Bakugo just subconsciously knows that and it pisses him off because of that because he knows that he's just not that way inclined you know I wonder um and the the other thing I wrote down was uh, we got that guy's that toothless guy's name which is uh. Uh, Giran or Gyron or Gyron or I, Giro, I don't know I don't know how you pronounce that but yeah so that's all I've got to say um, what a fucking episode that is I uh, it's my, that's my favourite episode that one that was really my favourite episode I fucking love that I really fucking love that that, that was that was such a joy to watch like <sighs> I love Bad Girl, man. Okay, here we go. Best get on to episode 25, last episode, and then of season 2. And then I'll watch the OVA, and then it's time for season 3 on Saturday. God, this has been such a such an amazing, amazing ride for me. Okay, so that was episode 24, my favourite episode. Tell me what your favourite episode is in the comments below. Um... You know, because I'm, I'm really interested to see, and you know, put your reasons why as well. You know, because I, I love to see that. I love to read that kind of stuff. I love reading the comments. You know, and, and replying to them. Okay, so uh, yeah, episode 25 next. But until then, I shall see you later. Bye bye.